hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to June's layout chair. Now, um, I have done, of course I did my wrap up for the Let's Build a Page series, the awesome and fun special edition of Build a Page that Kristen Christie and I did with the lovely Janet over on RTS. So I've done a wrap up and you saw those layouts and what I had left over from each of the page kits that I put together. Then of course I did my how to kill a kit with style, the layouts and the leftovers that I have from that. But many of you have said that you like to see in one place a full month uh, monthly, I guess, wrap up. So that's what I'm here to do today. I will make it fairly short. Um, every single project has a video. I will just let you know what they were for. Collaboration, uh, for fun, for DT, and so forth, so that you can go back on my channel and catch anything that you may have missed. So I got 16, um, eight and a half, 16 12 by 12 layouts done and one eight and a half by 11 this month. I didn't get anything done in my Me, Myself and I um, project done. So I need to focus on that a little bit more in July. And actually you will see, you will see, I, I will have one of those up straight away. I think, is it on or it might even already be up, I'm not so sure, but I have already got one done for the month of July. So this was an eight and a half by 11. This is using my How to Kill a Kit with style, but it was for a Spiegel Mom Scraps design team project, of course, where I did some stitching and put some lovely sequins here so that we could have some lights shining and coming out behind this photo since the Montreal Canadiens um, advanced in the playoffs. This was the very first round and they are in the finals. Can you believe that? Well, there you go. This was a fun, and this was a layout I did um, participating with my lovely and dear friend, Sarah, Sarah Scraps and her Laura Sketches Reimagined. And my friend Karina and I played along with her this month. And this is the layout that I did. A little bit of mixed media. And I used some of the gorgeous Rosie Studios. And one of the awesome little dotty about Flare. Flarelicious up here in this corner. This was a sketch Sunday. And it was using one of my starting points and some very, very, very old stash of mine for sure. So this one was fun. And oh, there you go. See, when I was going over my <laughs> How to Kill a Kit with Style, I told you I'd lost a snowflake. Well, there it is. There you go. So that's where that will go. This will be going into my Christmas generic album. This was uh, May I Scrap Lift You, and I was scrap lifting the lovely Dorothy, Dorothy Guinan from Scrapbooking Quebec. Um, and it was also, no, that's what that was for. <laughs> that's what that was for. And I used some, wait a minute now. Am I, no, 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 no. This is not that at all. This was celebrating my lovely friend Rebecca, Rebecca Lockhart and her 1,000 subbies here on YouTube and I'm scrap lifting this gorgeous grid layout of hers. How dare I get that all wrong? But you know why? It's because I actually used some leftovers from the layout where I scrap lifted Dorothy. That's, that's my story anyway. Some beautiful Flarelicious on here, <laughs> some flair from Dottie about flair. Um, uh, a little wood button here, and of course this was there for a starting point. Um, another Spiegel Mom Scraps DT project, and I love this one. This one is kind of fun. I wanted to do a little bit of a billboard and get some sequins sort of framing this entire 
um, this entire layout. And I used a little bit of a sketch here from Shannon. She's crafty here on YouTube, but this was from one of her classes. So I didn't actually show the sketch, but if you, I think that was, was it the Stash Bash? I think it was one of the sketches from the Stash Bash um, class. It was, so if you're in that class, you will recognize the sketch that I was playing with, and this is going to go into my Budapest album. This was another Sketch Sunday, a fun, 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 and again, some very, very, very old time. I, I love that because some of the starting points that I got done for myself went way back to 2008, 2010, 2011 for some of the papers and the supplies. I did some fussy cutting, and I love, love, love getting those in my albums. And this was on May 28th. We finally were able to open the restaurant terraces outdoors, two adults uh, from a maximum of two addresses, but we got the outdoor dining open, so that was fun. This was a May I Scrap Lift You, and I was scrap lifting on this one, the lovely Elizabeth Worthington, and using my How to Kill a Kit with Style, and a Chamel Half and Half to boot. Scrap lifting my friend Kelsey, Kelsey Weber, um, and this is a fun one. What I really liked about this, not only that it showcases so beautifully the lovely pattern paper, but also this fun way with the photos. It, and there is Chopin saying hello. This was also an Equal Jones 911 design team project with all these gorgeous flowers. Flowers number four and the sketchy cameras, which are my favorites. And a How to Kill a Kit with Style kit as well. A Sketch Sunday. I love this one. I got some stitching done. A fairly simple layout. Great for using up uh, a few of the scraps and then getting some gorgeous Nicole Jones 911 printables on here and some gorgeous dotty about flare, flare delicious pieces and even a few sequins. So this one I like. It's airy. Um, it did not use a lot of supplies, but it's it's sort of one of my favorites this month for sure. This one you just saw very recently. Uh, this one was on, it was off the board first, and it was also a Nicole Jones 911 design team project. And I used all of these fun little speech bubbles and a quilting pattern for my off the board inspiration. And I love that for my little toddler Diego. A May I Scrap Lift You, and I was scrap lifting my dear friend Annalise and uh, got another Chamel half and half and used my How to Kill a Kit with Style. Love that one. Now we are into, hello little fella. Now we are into the Let's Build a Page, which you have already seen. And I love, love, love this with the shaker. This is the one where I used the bonus starting points that each one of us had given, added some wood veneer, and turned it into a grab five. And I love it. So if you missed that one, pop on back to that video to see. This is probably, it's one of my favorites of, the Let's Build, of this month's Build a Page series for sure. I love this one as well, as well, using that fun Stampin' Up! strawberry paper. Uh, my grandniece and one of her besties um, as they got accepted to McGill here in Montreal, which is awesome. This was a fun one. This was using Christie's mood board. And I challenged myself to use this very, very, very busy background, these bright, colorful, and I sort of love it, although the subject of the layout was not quite as much fun. Then we have, this was, I think, the fourth layout that I did for the Builder page, for Let's Build a Page, and this was about getting my first dose of the vaccine. 
And then the very first one that I did, which was using an older collection, which was Kristen's starting point, um, and I used the again and again paper pad. So there you go. I'm quite pleased with everything that I got done this month. I don't know whether you have a favorite. This might be one of mine. This one for sure is one of mine. I kind of love that this one is just kind of fun. This one too. I, I seem to have a few favorites this month. So there we go. So lots of projects this month. And in July, I will see you every single day as it is July. And therefore off the board with Pineapple Papers Month where Crystal and I and a few of our lovely friends will be here every single day with some pin inspired project uh, and many of our other friends will be joining us on ad hoc days or whenever they can. So thank you for being here and I will be back with you very, very soon. Bye for now, my friends.